The snatch deadlift is more than just a deadlift with a wide or snatch grip. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to take that movement and transfer everything you learn for a bigger snatch. Hey, it's Drew Dillon from Project Lift, and in today's video, we're looking at the snatch deadlift. And I'm going to show you how using this movement well can help you lift more in both the snatch and the clean. So I've broken up into a few sections. What is the snatch deadlift? Why do we use a snatch deadlift? How to do the snatch deadlift? And then when to use this glorious exercise. Now, if you're watching this video, I imagine you're wanting to get better at your Olympic lifts. So I encourage you, grab our free guide, how to improve your Olympic lifts now. It's gonna break things down for you in a super simple way and it's free. And guys, if this video supports you, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you send it forward to a friend, pay it forward, and subscribe because more videos are coming each week. All right, what is a snatch deadlift? Now, it's a deadlift variation where we have our snatch grip, a wider grip, and it, ultimately, it's a variation of the deadlift that puts a much different demand on our core and on our shoulders. So if we're doing a snatch, this is vital, right? Because this is, this is the position that we're in. So we need to build strength in this. And because it puts that different demand on our core, that's how it can support other movements such as the clean, which when we bring our grip in, the demand on the core, core is different, right? And changing this up, moving that around, putting different demands that we're gonna see within this sport on our core is very important. Now, what really separates a snatch deadlift from just a traditional deadlift are is not just the wide grip, but it's the key positions that we hit as we move through it. And I'm gonna break all those positions down when we get to how to do it. Why do we use the snatch deadlift? Now, I kind of mentioned a little bit of this in the what is the snatch deadlift, but we utilize the snatch deadlift to build strength in the key positions of the lift. Now, since the snatch is part of our sport of weightlifting, it's vital to build strength in the positions you're gonna be using in the snatch. But like I also said in the what it is section, this puts a different demand on our core, a different demand on our back and our shoulders. And this is a great way to build strength overall in these key positions. So we have strength building. The other thing, another aspect why we use this is a learning tool. So if you're new to the lifts, you could do something like a, a snatch deadlift plus snatch, which allows you to feel the positions you're gonna be moving through and then lets you move through them on a snatch. It's a great learning tool. And finally, we can also use a snatch deadlift as something to create some exhaustion on the nervous system that allows us to get more out of, say, the snatch without having to go as heavy. And I'll explain that a bit more when we get to when to use it and I'll break that down for you. All right, let's dig into how to do a snatch deadlift. Now, like I mentioned, positions are key. So what we're gonna do to approach the bar is as we step up to it, when you look down, I want you to see where that bar sets over that big toe connecting the foot. That's what we're looking at here, okay? That allows us to unlock at the hip and the knee and sit. This immediately gets our back into a good angle, okay? Find your snatch grip. And I'm curious, if you're not sure where your snatch grip is and you're learning, you're, you're figuring this out, that's a comment I wanna hear. I'm curious if that would be a valuable video for you of breaking that down because where we grip the bar really determines the success of how it comes off the hip. So. We find our snatch grip. We use our legs to start to push us up to lengthen our arms. Watch my arms stretch and get long here. Here I am in this good position. Now this is key because very often we do a deadlift, we get very tense, we get very tight and just over grip the bar. But what are we trying to do? We're trying to build strength and resilience throughout the motion of the snatch. And in the snatch, we want our arms to stay nice and long and relaxed 
So this is a perfect opportunity to practice that and should be at the forefront of our minds. So back into that start position, nice, long, relaxed arms. My legs are gonna drive, 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 drive. My legs have just pushed my back angle straight up. I'm over the bar at the above the knee position with close to a vertical shin. From here, I hinge open. Now I'm at that power position. Notice how I never lock out my legs, okay? Notice how my legs never lock out. Then I'm coming back down and sitting through. And that is a snatch deadlift. All right, and finally, when do we use a snatch deadlift? Now, when you look at this, typically, we would put the snatch deadlift at the end of the workout, after our dynamic movements, dynamic movements being snatch, clean, and jerk, the movements that we're asking more of our nervous system from. Now, this puts the emphasis for our nervous system on our dynamic movements. This is key when we're learning technique and then we get to build some strength afterwards. Another time when we would use this is actually at the beginning of the workout. And now this is doing two things. It's putting an emphasis on strength. So if you need to build strength in your positions, this is giving our nervous system all to building that strength. However, if you put dynamic lifts afterwards, know that the nervous system is going to have a bit more of a taxation on it than if it were put at the end. This can be a good and a bad thing depending on where you're at. If your technique's decent, it's a fine thing. If your technique is junk, you've just made learning technique more difficult. And finally, another way when we use this is in complexes. So if you look at what I said during the Y section, say we do a snatch deadlift plus a snatch, perfect as a learning tool, right? We could also do a snatch deadlift plus a snatch, trying to put a little extra exhaustion on the nervous system. So we really have to focus and relax and pull everything together and get more out of a lighter weight snatch than having to push to a higher intensity. These are all when we can use the snatch deadlift. So, I hope this video supported you. What I wanna hear from you down in the comments is what you took away and how you're gonna apply the snatch deadlift to your training. Now here's the kicker. When you respond, if you put in the emoji of the, the little guy lifting the snatch, I'm gonna send you a bonus video that's gonna show you how to change direction faster under the bar. So I look forward to hearing the comments from you guys. Until next week, good luck to you. Talk to you then.